Hey, <laughs> long time no see. So I'd like to share some um, some important tools um, with you guys. Um, yeah, four tools that I use in my life, and I think everyone should apply to um, their lives as well. Um, first and foremost would definitely be um, surrender. Um, so yeah, surrender. It's kind of like it's like coming back to that center, um, coming back into the heart, coming back into balance, coming back into alignment. Um, surrendering to, to say like a, a higher power. Uh, surrendering to um, your thoughts and emotions. Um, the old saying, what we resist um, persists. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when you're resistant to certain thoughts and emotions, they're just going to keep coming up over and over and over again um, until you um, deal with them. And if you keep bearing them within you, they're only going to get worse and um, more intense. So it's to, to surrender and allow these things to come up and to um, actually work through these things and then allow them to, to pass through. Um, surrender, it's like surrendering to, to outcomes, to just allow things to unfold naturally, um, to not try to control or to pressure things into um, unfolding into a certain way. Um, yeah, <laughs> Sarah's just watching little birds. Um, detach. Um, detach doesn't mean that, um, hmm, detach, like detaching like from a certain outcome, if you have a preconceived outcome in your mind and it doesn't work out, you're obviously going to get disappointed, like it's nice to um, wish something to go for a certain way, but you must uh, detach from the outcome, and, um, doesn't mean like, um, like with detaching from a thought, for example. Um, yeah, with detaching from a thought, um, it's like not creating a story around it and just allowing it to flow through you. And, and when an emotion comes up, um, kind of like detaching of what you think it means and allow it to, to present what it actually means. Um, it's like it, when we think of like attachment and detachment, um, when we detach it doesn't mean that we love anything less, so we're just allowing it to, to be free to be what it is. Um, when we attach to an idea of something, we're not allowing it to be free what it actually is. Um, divine timing, um, again, goes back to allowing things to unfold naturally and um, trusting in a higher power. And um, What's meant to be will always be. Um, and if something's truly yours, it'll come back to you. Um, you know, even if at one stage we let's say missed an opportunity, if that opportunity is really meant for us, it will come around again. Um, yeah, and kind of like the, the divine timing, watching like signs and, and, and symbols um, and taking notice of little details. Um, and like synchronicities and sometimes we might get deja vu and things like that too. Um, allow, yeah, so allowing to, for things to unfold, um, naturally again, no, um, control around the outcome, um, because we're, so, if we're so set on an idea and how we would like to it happen and like to it unfold and if we already know what's going to happen, it's like, it takes all the fun out of, like, the magic, it takes the magic out of things. Um, 
Yeah, so if you're so push, push, push and uh, controlling things all the time and not allowing the, the divine to unfold things um, naturally and magically, um, yeah, it takes a lot of the, the fun and enjoyment and excitement out of life, don't you think? <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Just a, a little short video there. Um, I just thought I'd drop in and say hi. <laughs> um, let you guys know that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm still here and I'm still doing my thing. <laughs> and I'm um, just sitting out here and enjoying some uh, nature. I've just left a little bit of um, fruit over there for the birds and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, much love. Have a beautiful night or beautiful morning wherever you are and yeah, much love. <laughs>